Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button, bell so that way you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. Like I told you guys, today's video is not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get back into when we're talking about Blueface, Kashawn Rock, and Jada Alexis. But first, before we get into all that, let me say this. There were some people who were in the comment section, and they were suggesting that I go attend and take care of my own baby. You guys heard him talking in the video. He's 11 months, barely 11 months. He was getting his little talk on. I'm not going to be like somehow you parents are and don't allow your child to talk and stuff like that. Mommy had to do her little video and baby was with me. He was perfectly fine. He wasn't crying or anything like that. But thanks for your concerns. Now, Today's video, we're going to be talking about Blueface, Krishan Rock, and Jada Alexis. Now, Blueface went on a rant and decided to show us text messages and, you know, text messages. And I'm pretty sure he has other things, but he's basically telling us that Krishan Rock is not letting us know the full story. And I'm not exactly sure, honestly, what he was trying to prove with the full story when he showed these text messages, because on these text messages, it was her basically saying to him that problems can be fixed. They can work things out. They're going to have to come to some type of accord and agreement one day because of the child. So I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to show with that maybe he was trying to allude to the fact that she keeps telling us in the public that she does not want to be with him she doesn't want to talk to him and she's you know staying totally away from him and she's not because of these text messages but it's obvious that you guys are going to have some type of communication going on because you guys have a child together and because you guys have had business and you guys were on a freaking show together where it had a couple of seasons. I think it had two seasons or something like that. And no telling what else that, you know, are supposed to be in the works that were already signed contracts is that we don't know about. So you guys are going to have communication. So I'm not sure what he was trying to prove with that part. But what I will say is this. He is very salty and mad and we already knew he was upset about the situation with the child but he took it to a whole nother level when he decided to bring out more text messages and go on rant and say how you should have told me what was going on and i agree with him on that part she should have at least sent him a text message and said hey bro i'm about to go have a baby now i'm not sure if in her mind because she did say that it was just too much drama and she didn't want him around. So I get that. But I'm also trying to think if in her mind she thought maybe he would see her on live because he's always catching her on live. So maybe she thought he was going to catch her on live and see that she was actually going to the hospital or see that she was in the hospital and then just automatically fly out there and try to figure out where she was. I'm not sure if she thought that or she just... I mean, he was out partying and stuff, but granted, he didn't know that the baby was going to grab And granted, she said that she didn't know either that her water started leaking. And then she went to the hospital and they had to go ahead and do an emergency, you know, and induce her and to have the baby. So that way that they both were safe. So I'm not sure if she, I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking either she thought that he was watching her live like how he normally does. And like how he told us today, he'd be watching her live. The baby is like, you will not know these things if you weren't watching her live or if your people weren't watching her live to tell you what was going on and for you to see it yourself and i'm pretty sure that he saw it himself because he said every time he tuned in on live she the baby was with x y and z and she's doing x y and z so he does watch her live so maybe she thought that he was gonna watch the live and pop up but in any case she still should have sent that text message i'm not gonna change my mind for all of you in the comment section with you, you he was doing this i i get that and i said that on so many videos on how wrong he is and i also said how wrong she was as well but like i keep saying you have to hold people accountable for what they have done and and if you are getting things out of it, going to interviews and talking and getting, you know what I'm saying? Use some of that to get your, to help get yourself out of the pickle. Now, if she had to do it like how she did it, 
and now she is finally free, then kudos. And that is amazing. And I totally get why she did what she did. And like she said, she didn't have any money. So I get why she did now and how she did it. You have to come out. Don't just come out and tell us that he was taking your money and stuff. Come out and we were, we're, we're, we're people that are really listening to you and people a lot of people, especially in the comment section, are invested in Krishan Rock. So it would be nice if she would have came out and said, and now granted, she don't have to come out and tell us anything. But if you're going to come out and tell us that he was keeping my money and he was doing this, then tell us. I had to do X, Y, and Z. So I'm glad that she did come out and say that because I was looking like, why are you still with this idiot? It's obvious that you can do, you can move mountains by your damn self. You do not need him. So when she did the explanation and she said that she had to get the way he was tied into her Zeus money and the show money and all those other kind of stuff, I totally get that. But now that she has totally separated herself from him and doing what she got to do and the baby is here, I'm hoping that she keeps it going and stay in getting that bag for her and her child hell secure some shows because if this many people are invested in you and going to different youtubers channels like mines and other people who are way way bigger than me and say damn near the same comments she should have a show and people know that there will be investation in her show they're gonna watch it they're gonna tweet it they're gonna clip it they're gonna do all that kind of stuff so she actually needs to hop on this while she got the momentum and now that people want to see your child and stuff save some of that for the show one thing she did get at today was in the midst of all Blueface's rant, she went in on Jada Alexis and she discussed how Jada Alexis is, well, she discussed how she basically feels about Jada Alexis and how Blueface basically tries her and says all these offensive things and, you know, things to belittle her in front of their son and their daughter. And that's teaching the son most definitely the wrong way. You shouldn't be teaching your son to do certain things like that. And especially in front of the mom and especially to the mom, you shouldn't be doing that because you're setting an example. Now, regardless if Blueface wants to be an example or not, regardless if Jada Alexis wants to be an example or not, regardless if Krishan Rock wants to be an example or not, all three of these people have children and they have to be an example to those children. They don't have to be as anybody else, but they definitely have to be an example to those children. So what I will say is she did hit on some facts. I don't like how he says certain things to Jada and she just laughs it off or sometimes she calls herself, you know, he'll tell her she's saying the words wrong. And a lot of times I know that he's like, he says that he has a funny humor and stuff and it's supposed to be funny. But a lot of times that's degrading and you're saying this stuff online, on live to a whole bunch of people. And then you got people that's in the actual studio with you guys a lot of times or at your house when you're actually saying these things to her. So it's like degrading and she is sticking with it. But like I told you guys, she's going to stick with it because she's been getting this treatment and she's off top going to stick with it, especially now because now she actually feels like she has a name. She has a little career. She got music. She got fans. She got more fans than what she's ever had before and she's back in the house that she did say that she would never go back to but she's in the house with her man and her children so she's going to stay and stick and do whatever she got to do this is what Kushan Rock is saying is not going to phase her not one bit all it's going to do is make her make another song give anything but what Kushan Rock was saying about Jada is true and with Kushan Rock having a son you definitely do not want your son talking to the mother or talking to women any type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, uh-uh. And you definitely don't want the son seeing his father do this to the woman because it's not cool whatsoever. It's not respectful and you don't want to raise no disrespectful son. And especially in today's time, you need to be mindful, especially when it comes to the boys. You know what I'm saying? So she had a point with that. But like I said, I totally agree. Blueface should have at least been notified, but you can... you. You're coming online and you're putting even more business on blast when you didn't have to do none of that. At the end of the day, the text messages and stuff that you put out, y'all can still have a conversation. Even right now, you guys can still have a conversation. All you have to do is contact her. Most um, You should contact her when Jada Alexis is not around so that way Jada Alexis don't be chasing you like how Krishan Rock said. Call the girl or text the girl. As a matter of fact, don't even do no texting because y'all texting is leaving you know messages and then y'all able to post them later on. Call her. And y'all need to get this squared away. So that way that baby can meet the rest of his family and stuff. Because even with Blueface, he did a joke and he said, the baby has, the baby only been born for a few days. He has an Instagram. He has her email address for bookings. And then he was like, I'll contact bookings. How much is you charging? And he was doing it like a joke, but it's like, dang, like he wants to play around and say, how much does he have to pay to see the baby? So that way he can introduce the baby to the rest of the family. Now, I'm not sure how Krishan is going to, really, you know, deal with that. But at the end of the day, she's going to have to deal with that because that baby is going to have to meet the rest of his family if 
things are acquired right. And I'm just hoping that she can just from now on just continue to do positive stuff because Blueface is even going back finding clips and videos and people are po putting up, you know, her when she was, you know, getting her puff puff on while she was pregnant. And somebody like that, you really needed to watch him while sh you were pregnant because everything I already figured if they ever get into it, he's going to take this kind of stuff and he's going to blast her. He's going to use it against her to try to get that baby. If there ever comes a time where he needs to claim like he needs to take the child away from her, he's going to show record of this. And the cold part about it is it's on a show. There's so many bloggers and YouTubers and people like that who have pictures and have video recording of this taking place. So it's not leaving the Internet. You know what I'm saying? So she really does need to be careful because if you're dealing with a person like this who is telling you that they would take your child away and then let's not forget there was one point where she told us that he threatened to K her. I, I, she needs to stay freaking far as possible. And if he, when he said the, the K in of her, she should have went and got a restraining order then. So that way, all this baby stuff wouldn't even be dealing with right now. And honestly, she could probably still go get one right now and just keep her distance. But again, does she really want to have a restraining order against him? Does she really want to stay away from him right now? I don't think so. So I think that's why this cycle is going to continue to go. But I'm hoping and praying that she can be like, you know what? No, I'm in a good headspace. I'm clear. I finally see, you know, the, the clarity of light. My son is here. Let me do what I got to do and totally wash away blue because anything else she continues to do or get caught up in, he's definitely going to use it against her. He's going to use that baddies when she was when they alleged that she had her sister uh, get jumped. He's going to use the baddies when they alleged when she fought uh, allegedly or had her friend fight uh, the whoa Vicky girl. He's going to use all of this against her. And I just don't want her to get her child taken away because at the end of the day, the child is beautiful. And I definitely think the way she was talking today on live, it's different when a child is, is, is growing in you. And then it's different when that baby is out and you have that baby in your hand. The type of love and protection that you off top feel afterwards. Oh, man, it's something totally different that can't nobody mess with. That's why I don't care about none of you negative Nancy's in the comment section. And the last thing that I want to say on Blue Faces situation in part is that he is showing videos of how he is paying out these dancers and how he has paid off the cameraman and how appreciative J.L. Alexis is and calling Krishan Locke the weirdo now. But no, sir, you are the weirdo. The lady who you with are the weirdo. And Krishan Locke does have some weirdoism to her too. All three of you guys are weirdos in my book. But you, if you really want to show and be like a man man and show like how good and get people to stop looking at you a certain type of way, you have to stop posting these text messages. You have to stop posting things that you think about her. It's think those things by yourself. Or tell her these things. Or even do the bad time talk and tell your lady these things. But stop coming out and posting this stuff because Jade Alexis is going to act like she is very, very much so appreciative of everything that you're doing for her now, even though you should have been doing it. Now, I did see that video of you being giving her stacks and stuff. So she's been with lace with money. And you always said that you was paying her $7,000 a month to, you know, take care of the kids and take care of her. So I get that aspect. But it's like, dude, focus on your family and move forward with that. She's going to be appreciative because she's she only knows you if we're going to keep it 100. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch you on the next video respectfully.